what is up everybody welcome back if you're new to the channel i'm brian on the beat and today i have my usual guest with me to my left is my daughter amelie and to my right is my son Gaden. hi hi i forgot to say hi and today we're gonna check out the nike air max mars landing Gaden, you have to pair for the right foot Millie, you have to pair for the left foot. I want to ask the question, is this shoe any good? Big shout out to my brother, JR. He, he picked up these shoes. So first thoughts, uh, yes, start with... Hold on. Do charge right All right, let's start with Amelia since we were so talkative. First thoughts, Amelia, what do you think of this shoe? Um, this is like Mars. You know like, the... Um, kind of looks Planet like, Mars. The Planet Mars. Actually, it looks kind of like a hunter shoe. Where you're gonna... Like a hunting shoe? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like where you're going to like hunt, like hunt animals. I never thought of that, but it, it does kind of look like camouflage -y. No, it looks like where you hunt animals or something. Are you hunting for animals, Wait, yeah. It, it yeah. looks like dirt I kind of like there. it. It is, it is. It looks like rust to me, but I kind of yeah, like yeah, the this bottom is the, part of it. Yeah, this is the surface of Mars. It looks in the like here looks like rocks and space or something. <laughs> let's take a closer look at the shoes. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> let's go. All right. For a shoe that's fairly loud, I would say the box is fairly normal. Just a red and white Nike box. This is a size eight and the official color is Marstone, Magma Orange, and what is that? Pierre de Mars. It retails for $160. Here is the shoe right here, the Nike Air Max 90 Mars Landing. The theme of the entire upper is supposed to resemble the surface of the planet of Mars. And I'm not sure the exact material this is uh, made out of. I know it's a reflective 3M upper, but it kind of feels like some sort of like canvas or like green screen. That's how I kind of describe it. Very smooth surface. If you look closely, you see on the upper, it just shows like rocks and craters and, and you know things you would see on the surface of mars but very faintly you can see the nike swoosh right here you have an entirely black midsole with speckles of gray all over the midsole you head over to the heel you can see the nike air branding right there if you look at the medial side pretty much the same as the lateral side just more images of mars surface now i'm not sure if every single pair has the same graphic if it's different or not i know double d got a hand on a pair so maybe I'll, I'll look at it to compare see if the graphic is the same or if it's different for for every pair so let's take a look at the insole you can already see the theme of the the surface of mars continues on the insole so let's take this out really quick now that i have the insole out towards the heel you can see the nike air branding Again, the theme of the surface of Mars continues throughout the insole. You flip it over, nothing on the back at all, just entirely gray. All right, if you look at the tongue, the theme of the surface of Mars continues other, other than this sizing tag. And on the sock liner, it also, it's a different material, definitely not the, the 3M reflective of the outside, but more of the surface of Mars continues throughout the inner sock liner. As we head to the front of the tongue, you can see the Nike Air Max branding on the front. And if you work your way down the tongue, you got flat orange laces. It also comes with a couple of spare laces, but it's on the left shoe. Let me grab that really quick. You see right here, it comes with some, um, some black laces and another pair of orange laces, but this one is 3M. I'll show you guys that here in a second. Um, what else we got to show? Oh, let me grab the, the right foot again. Let's head over to the outsole. Now the outsole, you have a translucent outsole and you can see faintly just all these stripes right here. Now I don't know what that resembles. If you guys know what that resembles, please leave that down in the comment section below. I have owned Air Max 90s before, but definitely not of this material. The ones I own had mesh and leather uppers. So I'm not sure how this even fits. Again, this is my brother's shoe. I'm assuming it would fit true. Nothing about, about this feels very stretchy or anything. So I'm assuming it fits true. Again, if you know, please leave that down in the comment section below, whether it's true to size or you have to go up or down. All right, I just tried to film it with all the lights off in my room, but it did not work out because it's still too early in the day. And I cannot wait any later in the day to do it. I got other plans today. So I just took a bunch of pictures. Right now, I'll run the B-roll of the pictures. And right away, you can see the entire reflective 3M upper. Almost has, it almost has like this whitish, and still got like hints of that red tint behind it. And if you look at the midsole, you can see that the gray speckles really pop. I think those are 3M as well. When you hit it with the flash, it really stands out. If you head over to the heel, that heel tab is not 3M. I thought it would be just the way it looked, 
But again, you can see more of the bottom of the midsole there where that gray speckle really pops. This is the medial side just to show you guys. Again, the entire upper is 3M as well as the speckles on the midsole. And then right there, as I mentioned earlier, the orange lace, the spare orange lace has hits of 3M all over it. I'll take another picture right here, kind of zoom in on you guys. Got like little dots all over the, the orange laces. And over there to the left, you can see the spare black laces has no 3M on it. If you look at the top of the shoe, again, you can see more of the reflective 3M upper. Just like the heel tab, the tongue patch is not reflective, unfortunately, even though it looks like it. And I took a picture of the outsole just in case there was any 3M, but as you can see right there, there is not. And last but not least, I also took a picture of the insole just to make sure there was nothing hidden. And that's pretty much it. If I miss anything, please leave that down in the comment section below, but I'm fairly sure I covered everything about this shoe. There you have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick little review. Now my final thoughts is, is here, let me say it for one second, got it. Yeah, I think it's good. If you like it, the 3M upper is really nice. I think a, a good feature of that is if, especially if summertime is coming up, there's gonna be some late night barbecues or rooftop parties or whatever, and you can wear this and this will, this will reflect, you know, during the nighttime, you know, definitely stand out. But for me personally, it's not, nothing I would wear. Just, um, I could probably pull it off with the right light hoodie or something or a good matching t-shirt. Nothing I would buy personally, but that's just my personal opinion. I do like it. I do like the theme. I do like how they did everything, you know, all the reflective parts of it. So let me ask my son, Gaiden, right here. Gaiden, what do you think of the Air Max 90 mm -hmm. Mars landing? Let's hold it up, put it on camera. My favorite planet is Mars, and I like this. Your favorite planet is Mars? That's mm -hmm. awesome. And you like the speckle, the gray speckles on the yeah. midsole? Millie, what do you think of the Mars Corn. landing Air Max Corn. 90? So do you, do you like the shoe? Do you like the shoe? Yes yeah, or no? Like, I like it. Yeah. No, I only like the bottom in here. You like the outsole and, and the, yeah. the gray speckles on the midsole? All right, that's it. Let me know what you guys think of the Air Max 90 Mars landing, whether you loved it or hate it. Please leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And until our next video, see ya. Yeah. How about since it's finally sunny here in Portland, Oregon, let's head outside and do a little on feet.